Martha Stewart, and welcome to Martha's Big House Thanksgiving Day Special. Please come join me for some crafts and, of course, some good food. Please sit down. As you can see, I live in a sterile jail cell, but there's no reason it shouldn't have all the comforts at home. Yes, I've been using my old Martha Stewart living and Martha Stewart weddings to make some lovely curtains. As you can see, they're right here along my window. Now, Martha Stewart Living does have some things that are very complicated. I really can't do them here in prison, but I can use the pages for my lovely curtains, as I've said. My plan for today is to take these pieces and create a bit of a balance across the top of the window. I plan on shearing each one just to give it a little dip. Now, here in prison, we don't have very many tools for shearing, no knives or scissors, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but I think I'm up to it. Now, this is Thanksgiving Day special, so let me get to our work. I have, of course, first prepared a lovely centerpiece for our table. It's right here. I'm planning on making a beautiful, I think it will be just absolutely gorgeous, a lovely paper mache turkey that's going to sit in the middle of our Thanksgiving Day festivities. I think it'll be beautiful. Now, in the real world, I would use Mod Podge or something of that sort, but we don't have that here in prison. So I'm actually using some of last week's clam chowder. It's going to make a lovely paste. To do so, all you need to do is take these lovely strips of newspaper, dip it in our paste. It'll come out. And it's a perfect strip to paste and make our lovely turkey. I have one here, actually, we can take a look at. I realize that it resembles more of a swan than a turkey, but as I said, I am here in prison, and I don't have my staff of lovely artists and creative people. So I did this one on my own. I don't think any of the inmates here will care. I think it'll be just gorgeous sitting in the middle of our table. It's going to be beautiful. And of course, what is Thanksgiving without a Thanksgiving day? Just a smorgasbord of delicious treats. Well, let me bring you over to my kitchen, and I'll tell you what I have planned for this year's menu. Now, of course, in prison, we don't have all of the delicious treats like turkey and stuffing that everyone in the real world has, but we do have bread and water. So I think I've pieced together a delicious menu. It's four courses, and for the first course, we are going to be having a delicious appetizer. It's right in here. Let me pull it out for you. Ah, 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 ooh, ah. It's a little warm. That's okay. But what I've prepared are some delicious, lovely tasting breadsticks. Aren't they just gorgeous? I think they're going to be delicious. They're just lovely. I'm also thinking of sprinkling them with some lemon juice and a bit of sesame seed. I think it'll be quite tasty. What a delicious treat for all of my fellow prisoners. I think it's just wonderful. Now for today, I thought I would show you how to make our second course. What it's going to be is, of course, a bread bowl with soup. Now, in prison we don't have knives, like I said, but I do have my hands, so excuse me if I get a little messy. All you need to do is take four lovely pieces of bread, right here, as you can see. Just reach in, just pull some out. We're just going to be digging into it. Make ourselves a lovely little bowl. Don't be afraid to get messy now. It happens. Once I've filled this out, just like so, I'm going to take my soup. Here we are. There we go. Huh. With that great homemade taste, it's going to be delicious. I'm just going to open this up and pour a little right in here. It's going to be such a wonderful and delicious treat for all of us here. Ah, oh, yes, it's so delicious. I think my cellmate will really enjoy it. And there you have it, soup in a bread bowl. It's our second course. But before you go, don't leave yet. We do have a look ahead to Martha's Christmas Big House special. I have some lovely crafts that I've been working on. Please follow me to the craft center. This beautiful wreath is one that I've pieced together out of pieces of grass that my workmates and I have taken off of work crew. We were working on the side of a West Virginia road, and these were just lovely, just gorgeous. I'm planning on decorating it with some canned good labels. I think that'll be just lovely, and perhaps a few cigarette wrappers as well. I think it's going to be gorgeous. It's just beautiful. And of course, Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without our tasty treats. These are some candy canes that I've made out of old pipe cleaners, and some mint-flavored toothpaste. Mmm, so delicious. I really think my inmates will treasure them always. It's beautiful. Thank you.
So I want to thank you for joining me today for Martha's Big House Thanksgiving Day Special. Please come again. As you can see, we have some lovely crafts for Christmas. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Thank you.